This year marks, of course, the 100th anniversary of the CPC and General Secretary Xi Jinping gave an important speech in Beijing at the celebration ceremony, including announcing that China had uh, achieved a moderately prosperous society in all respects. What was your take on President Xi's remarks? I mean, he very rightly outlined the huge successes of the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese Socialist Revolution. Um, China has an incredible amount to be proud of in the last hundred years um, and in the last 70 years since the foundation of the People's Republic. Um, you know, you can't argue with any of the facts, can you? Uh, socialism has proved its superiority time and time again. Uh, from my perspective, really the hugest achievement and the foundation on which all the other ch achievements rest is the first achievement of being able to uh, combine Marxism, Marxism-Leninism, the theory of the modern working class with the masses, with a huge mass movement in China. And it's the putting of those two things together which enabled all of the advances that happened uh, you know, since the founding of the CPC to take place. What are your thoughts on China's contribution to the world under the CPC's leadership? So China in particular with Russia and other anti-imperialist countries are showing the people of the world uh, what reasonable, rational uh, leadership looks like, based very much on looking out for the needs of the people, thinking of the protection of our environment and how we go forward together as humanity. The difficulty for the anti-imperialist bloc in the world is that there is a tension between the logic of humanity and the logic of capitalism. From the standpoint of the Communist Party of Britain, how do you feel the CPC engages in foreign affairs and with political parties, socialist political parties like yours? Well, we've found them to be a very positive influence. Uh, we learn a lot from them in terms of their discipline, their hard-working ethic, their selflessness, their devotion to their work and to the, the cause of serving the people. Um, we very much appreciate the fact that they don't try to export their model of doing things. They don't try to tell us what to think or how to run our struggle. Uh, we are able to uh, exchange ideas openly and honestly with our, with our comrades in the Chinese Communist Party. We have very much to learn from them, but they don't try and tell us how we should run the struggle here, and we appreciate that. What do you think about the concept and the practice of the CPC's so-called people-centred approach to governing? It's the logic of socialism. The logic of socialism is the needs of the people are first and foremost and at the centre of everything that you do. What are your expectations for Britain and your party deepening cooperation and further facilitating exchanges with the Communist Party of China? I very much hope and expect that we will continue to deepen our friendship and our cooperation with the Chinese people. Fundamentally, our job as socialists in Britain is to help the workers of Britain to understand that the future, the shared future of all of humanity, is a socialist future. That's where we need to get to. Uh, the Chinese have great experience that we can learn from, but fundamentally we are brothers in that struggle and our shared future together will be a socialist future. <laughs>